Hi guys, this is Calera Hudson of While They Play Designs, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to do the stitch for the Snowdrift Cowl. Uh, this is the knit version, and for this particular pattern we're going to be doing a two row repeat, and if you take a look here I've printed out the pattern, and we have a right side row followed by a wrong side row. These are the two rows that we're going to be repeating throughout this entire cowl before we seam it together. Now for this right side row, that's where I've left off in my work here, we're actually going to be slipping the first two stitches of every row. And we're going to be doing that both on our right side and our wrong side row. So these first two stitches, we're going to insert our needle through the front knitwise with our yarn coming from the back. We're going to slip that stitch off the needle. And then the next stitch, we're actually going to go in purl wise with our yarn in back and slip that stitch. So our first two stitches have been slipped and now we can start our two stitch repeat. And if you take a look at the pattern here, I've highlighted it in orange. We're going to skip our next stitch on our needle and then knit into the stitch through the back loop. So I'll show you that. And it might help you since we're doing a two stitch repeat all across the row, it might help for you to kind of separate your stitches out as you work them with your thumb. So here's our two stitches we're going to be working into. We're going to skip that first stitch and we're going to knit through the back loop of the second stitch. So I'll rotate my needle here so you can see better. You're going to insert your right hand needle purl wise through that second stitch on the left hand needle. and We're going to knit through that back loop and then we'll rotate back to the front here. We're going to knit just as usual in that first stitch that we skipped. So knit through the front loop. Okay, now that we have these two stitches worked from these two stitches, we can remove those two stitches off of our left hand needle. So that's why it helps to kind of separate your two stitch repeat with your thumb here. So you don't accidentally pull off more loops than you're supposed to. So again, we're gonna repeat that. We're gonna skip our first stitch, insert our needle into the second stitch through the back loop knit it and we're not going to remove any of these stitches yet. I'm going to swing around to the front and knit through that first stitch just like normal. Now, now that we have these two stitches we can remove these two stitches from our left hand needle. So drop those off. And essentially if you take a look here what we're doing is we're just creating a little left crossing cable with two stitches. We have this knit stitch here crossing over the left side of this stitch. And if you take a look at the pattern here, you can see where that's happening. Just have little two stitch left cross cables. So I'll go ahead and show you that step a couple more times. So separate out these next two stitches, since that's our repeat, with our yarn coming from the back, knit the second stitch through the back loop, this is kind of hard to see. Okay, there's our new knit stitch. Do not remove any of the stitches from the left hand needle. Go ahead and separate these two stitches and knit into the first stitch that you skipped. And now we can remove those two loops off of our left hand needle. So we're just gonna repeat this across the row and I will meet you at the end. Okay, so we've reached three stitches from the end here. We're gonna do that last repeat. So we're going to skip the first stitch on our needle. These might be a little tricky to work into since we've slipped the first two stitches of that wrong side row. So there we go. Knit through the back loop, swivel around, knit through the front loop of the first skipped stitch, remove it, those two from the needle. And then the last stitch, it says just to knit through the back loop. There we go. So we've completed our right side row all the way across. Now we're going to do the row two of our two row repeat. And that'll be on the wrong side, so we'll turn our work. Okay, now if you take a look here at the instructions, we're going to slip our first two stitches again as we did before on the right side row, but we're going to slip the first stitch purl wise with our yarn in front 
and then we're going to slip the second stitch purlwise with the yarn in front. So basically we're going to do the same thing with the first two stitches. So you want your yarn in the front and then you're going to go in purlwise from right to left with your right hand needle purlwise. We're going to slip the stitch purlwise with yarn in front and then do the same thing with the second stitch purlwise slip the stitch. Okay. Now we'll keep our yarn in the front because we're going to be purling this row and it's very similar to the right side row. If you take a look here in the instructions that I've highlighted, our two stitch repeat is skip the next stitch on your needle and purl the next stitch, just as normal. And do not drop the stitches off the needle, purl your skipped stitch, and then drop both stitches off of your needle. That's our repeat. So I'll show you that. I kind of use my middle finger here to push my yarn out of the way. Okay, our first stitch, remember, you're working in two stitch repeats here, so separate those two stitches. Skip your first stitch and go in purlwise into the second stitch and purl it. Do not remove that stitch from the needle. Now you're going to locate your first stitch that you skipped and purl it. Okay, so now, as you can see here, We've created these two purl stitches out of the two stitches that are on our left hand needle right here. So when it's time to go ahead and pop those old stitches off of the left hand needle, you'll need to remember to pop off two stitches. You don't want to accidentally pop off any more than that or you're going to have drop stitches on your cowl. So let me show you that again. Separate out two stitches here. We're going to skip the first stitch. Insert our needle purlwise into the second stitch. Purl it. Do not drop it off the needle. Locate your first stitch that you skipped. Go in purlwise and purl that first stitch. Now we have two stitches on our right hand needle and we can finally drop the two stitches off of our left hand needle. So slide those off and pop them off. Okay. And we'll just repeat this to the end of the row, skipping the first stitch, purling into the second, and then going back to the first, and then removing our stitches. So once you get the hang of this two stitch repeat, it'll go pretty quickly across the row. And I will show you what to do when we get to the end. Okay, so we've reached three stitches from the end. So again, we're gonna do our two stitch repeat skip the first stitch, purl into the second, don't drop your stitch, and purl into the first skipped stitch. Now remove those two stitches, and with our last stitch of this row, we're simply going to purl it. Okay, so we have completed that two stitch repeat. This is the purl side, and this is the knit side. And as I explained earlier, we're simply just doing a left stitch cable crossing with two stitches at a time and then when we get to the wrong side we're still crisscrossing those stitches but we're purling them instead of knitting them and it just creates this almost um, woven effect in our pattern but you do want to remember as you're following these two rows in your pattern to always slip the first two stitches of your right side row and your wrong side row and what that does is it just creates this nice selvage on the on each side of your cowl. It's kind of hard to see here since we don't really have a lot of stitches in our work quite yet, but it just creates a nice little fold so that you're not going to have a cowl that curls around the edges. But that's how you create the stitch for our snowdrift cowl. I hope this helps you. Thanks for watching.